Okay guys, so um, this time another way of flattening them out is I can use that underhook. So when I pass, rather than making frames again, Carl's already in that tough position. So he doesn't want me getting this bite. Okay. When you drill the first one, if the guy is really hammering you, trying to force this down, then the five minute drill, the guy on top should be a lot more tired than the guy on the bottom. The guy on the bottom's just Giving him the, the, the bite on the shoulder, then taking it away. Giving him the bite, take it away. Giving him the bite, take it away. <coughs> and obviously, if it was sparring, once you take the bite away, you win the under and get to your knees. You're not going to stay on your side. But like I said before, drilling, put yourself in bad positions and then stay there longer than you normally would. This gets you better at the position. So again, second drill, I'm still going to find the bite on the shoulder. I want to use shoulder pressure. Power turns your shoulder down, I'm going to try and get it back again. But the other thing I can do is I can come inside. So his hand was on his leg here. Why was it on his leg? Because any time I lost the bite on the shoulder, he wants that under who gets his knees every single time. But another thing I can do as I'm trying to drive him down is the space of his left elbow here. So if I can win the underhook, if I if there's space for my right hand to come under his left elbow and I win the underhook, this is doing the same job as chest pressure driving him down. Because now I've got control of the shoulder, even if I don't use any pressure with my chest, just smash him down because you're controlling that shoulder. So, again, this drill is don't let him get the underhook. I don't know where they come up with these names, but don't let him get the underhook. So, switch positions. Same as the last time, I'm not making the frames. So I, I hide the shoulder so he can't put pressure on me. My hand is here. The curse the left hand, uh, his right hand is right on it. He's going to All I'm going to do is from here, my hand is here, I just bring this in. Okay, so from here, I bring it in. So when I feel him digging for that underhook, my hand stays here. But when he stops digging, and he will if he can't get his hand in there, he's starting to go back to this shoulder pressure again. I can't leave my hand here. Why? And I can't win the underhook. It's in here. So it's, a, it's just a gain from being here to here. Okay? So um, I'm not making frames. Hit the shoulder. Once car takes in, I just bring my hand in. Once he pulls it out, my hand comes back. Again, it's just keep going. I'm not going to be me out. And again, he wins that underhook, my hand comes in. And then I bring it back again. And again, from here, if we get flattened out, because he's, he's won that underhook, we'll be addressing this um, later on, weeks ahead. What position is he in now? Broken scarf. So then we'll be hitting our broken scarf escapes to get us back on our side so we can win the underhook again. So don't be afraid of playing with this guys. If you play with this properly, you will get flattened out. If you do, just start off on your side again. So again, hide the shoulder, don't let him win the underhook. And when the moment's right, I'll get to my knees. Okay, so, so for five guys. <laughs> 